Alrighty, welcome back everyone. It is Laughing Games here. I'm back and it is time for another StarCraft 2 Pro 1 vs. 1 replay cast. Just uh, checking the old microphone levels there and making sure that everything is fine and dandy. Uh, yeah, if you guys want to see more of these pro casts before we get into it, I'm, I usually wait a minute before getting into it. But I'm just going to go ahead and say it. Slap the heck out of that like button. And uh, subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, if you decided that the first 40 seconds of this video is subscribe worthy, do it. Or wait to the end and then do it. Anyway, in the top right, we have got none other than Psystorm Gaming's special. And he is a special pro gamer. He has been around a long, a long, 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 long time. Uh, you'll have to forgive me here as I just do another quick microphone adjustment. Uh, as, of course, these adjustments wouldn't be possible without you guys leaving comments and such to let me know how things are, do you like game sounds, all that, all that jazz, all the music, that kind of stuff. So anyway, we've got a special taking on Haas in the bottom left. And I gotta say, I don't think there's... Haas has ever had a more perfect clan tag. I don't know if he's on a team called Suzzy or something, or if he's just got this clan tag, because Haas is sus AF. Uh, yeah, Haas is just the cheeser Protoss. He's been doing it for years and years, and he's probably going to keep doing it for many more years. So let's take a look at what the builds are going to be. But this is actually an approach that I love by Special. He's actually going to be cheesing out Haas with a two Rax Reaper opening. This is rather uncommon in TVP, but it's not one of those things that is unheard of. And even though Haas went for a Probe Scout, uh, he, he didn't check for, he didn't see a Command Center. He saw the second, uh, it's, it's interesting. He saw the second Supply Depot, so he knows it's not a Reaper Expand. So he's coming back on in with the probe, wanting to see what's going on. He very well may get in. He's going to see one Reaper out, see another unit building. He's not going to get all the information he needs, so as he just misses seeing that barrack, of course, uh, the math is going to add up eventually, though, once he realizes, wait a second, a Reaper killed my probe, and then there's a Reaper on my side of the map already. What does that add up to? More Reapers than one barracks can produce. At least Haas should clue into that, and seeing as how he's darn good at StarCraft 2, I think he will. Now, we have got ourselves Marine Production kicking off for special with a factory behind it. We'll likely see a Tech Lab and Stim start at some point behind this. For now, though, special just trying to grab himself some probes. All in all, he's killed three this game so far after stopping Reaper Production at three. Looks like he is going to get himself a fourth. Now, generally, the math works out that you want to get one probe kill per reaper that, that's that's generally the trade-off but special probably wants to get one or two more here to consider this a good opening as uh he did delay his own command center and he did invest in that extra barracks of course that barracks will uh come into play later on so maybe he doesn't need to get too much more done and he's in an okay spot here he is going to try and pop off a probe but that shield battery is a hero keeping that keeping that probe alive lucky probe uh, but yeah, all in all, uh, pretty, pretty normal, well, I'm not gonna say normal, but pretty equal opening. Uh, I'm honestly surprised that Special chose to do this on Beckett Industries, as it is a map with a lot of space to cross for those Reapers. Oracle does, I believe, fly by those Reapers. I'm not sure if those identified each other. We do see the Oracle come on in. Is it gonna be able to get that fresh mule? The answer is no, it's gonna bypass that location. Head on into the main base, which is the right call by Haas. Seeing as how there's absolutely no anti-air here for Special Oracles, gonna be able to get, uh, looks like three SDV kills, which is pretty darn good for Oracles in this day and age. An old, an old Oracle would have had like 12 kills by then. But, uh, jokes aside, we see Haas being active with his Oracles now. He's gonna have to be careful to avoid the Cyclone that's now out on the map for Special. But, yeah, looks like, uh, we've got Special maybe planning on going for a bit of a tank push. An early one at that, with Combat Shield coming out, early Marine production on the way as well. So uh, going for a lot of Marines, Combat Shield, and a tank. This really is going to lead into one of those early Terran pushes. And Haas might be tight-pressed to stop this, because this is going to hit 
earlier than most pushes, and it's going to hit hard. We see three oracles are out for Haas. He's starting to throw up stasis wards. Uh, special is a darn good Terran, though, so we shouldn't get caught by a significant one of those. A threat is, potentially, that the oracles could catch vital reinforcing units or slaughter specials economy in the meantime we shall see i mean three oracles are pretty darn good this is nine marines versus three oracles there's a chance that the oracles could just engage these marines haas thinking this is stim is going to try and target down combat shield but little does he know that's combat shield and there's going to be a push coming much sooner than he expects i believe uh, i mean there's a chance special won't push but i i would put a hefty stake on it uh, Special's got an eBay done. I'm wondering if he's going to throw down like two turrets at home and then go for the attack or just go for it or maybe he'll just stay home and wait. You see Oracles are engaging the Marines. Haas is like, wait a second, Combat Shield done already. Oh, wow. Uh, Special though does seem to just be waiting for Stimpak and uh, Starport to finish up. So the Combat Shield was an interesting choice there if he's not going to be pushing. But I guess he just wanted that, wanted that HP. It's not going to be too important in this game, but... I am curious if Special could have potentially turned that into a push or not. Uh, regardless, though, this game is going to continue on. As we see Haas keeping all three of his oracles alive, which I like to see. He's got his third base on the way. It's not a super quick one. It's actually quite late compared to what Protoss generally prefer. But all in all, uh, things aren't looking too bad for Haas. He's really taken the potential of a push seriously. As we see, he's got two shield batteries going on up. And that's definitely the right call, I think. He's got to buy as much time as he can. He's got his observer outside Special's base to see when there is going to be a move out, which there will be, as Special is still two basing it. It's just as opposed to with the combat shield and one or two tanks, it's going to be with a lot of bio, stim, plus one, medivacs to boot. And so, yeah, it's important Haas uh, go, does commit to that defense. He's chrono boosting out his plus one. Hopefully that for him, that'll be done by the time Special's attack hits. We've got a Colossus out. Very important. Uh, you can't really defend these attacks without, say, charge lots or without charge lots or Colossus, really. Uh, we even see Haas investing in more shield batteries. This is a lot of shield batteries. Like, uh, this seems to be planning on Special just stimming on in. Uh, because if Special just gets tanks set up into a position, he can take the slow approach. Now we see Haas moving out to greet Special, tosses down some force fields, catches himself two Marauders, which is no small prize there. Then the Colossus shaving off a couple of Marines, but the noose tightens quickly here as Special steps forward. Haas's plus one has now finished up, so his units are going to deal extra damage. He retreats to the shield batteries, and he does have a second Colossus about to finish up, but I am quite concerned for Haas based off the fact that there's no charge or anything here. We even see Special tossing up turrets to help dissuade the Colossus from coming on in, or whether this is to help out with the Oracles. The Oracles are hunting reinforcements while this is going on, though, and that, I believe, is the right choice for Haas based on the fact that there is indeed turrets going up for special. Uh, but yeah, this is what I was talking about. Tanks shooting the shield batteries. Haas really can't do too much. He's going to try and break this slow zealots. Just being a buffer, that's all. Haas has to retreat, though, to his super battery there as uh, it does help out, but then it gets picked off by a tank. We see more turrets going up for special. This really is quite an amazing push by the Terran player, and I really don't see an end to it. Haas does not have charge done. He's 90 seconds away from it completing. That's a long time in StarCraft II to buy, and I'm really concerned right now for the Protoss player. He did a good job holding on at first, but he did not have, did not have charge started during all that. If he started it when the push first started, I'd say he could probably break this now, but the fact that he's only going to have slow zealots to break this, uh, either that or he's got to hope Special is really, really uh, methodic about this. I'm worried because this Nexus could potentially go down, and then it's like, what do you do for Haas? Do you just try and break it even though you most likely won't, or, or what? I don't know. Spe either way, Special's throwing up supply depots to keep the charge lots out. That's going to be huge. Haas having to break a wall just to defend his base. He'd likely need a zealot surround during all this, but then we see the tanks are now inching forward. The Vikings are here for special, zoning out the Colossus. Haas has got another immortal on the way, and his plan is to hold on for that battery, I mean, for that charge to finish up uh, 30 seconds away. Haas, I mean, he's just been playing such a patient game. Maybe it'll pay off waiting this long. His charge is seconds away. He's morphing in Archons. I love to see these Archons. Tanky units to help him 
break this location, maybe uh, morph these Archons. He needs to morph them now, I think. Uh, and then probably just go for a flank, I imagine. Although it looks like Haas is just deciding to abandon the space. He went for a probe transfer, but they all caught tank shots there. 16 probes going down because Haas had walled them in. So they were forced to go into the tank fire. Their big blunder by Haas. Uh, he, the Protoss player does just elect to fall back, which is a bold statement, basically saying, yeah, I'll just go for a macro game and send a Zealot counter harassment. We see specials now step forward. Haas was maybe looking for a fight, but he backs off. Where are his Colossus? Did Haas lose his Colossus? He did. He lost two. And there wasn't even really a fight, so that must have been some mismanaging there. Looks like Haas is going to try and break this. Special does not raise his depot wall because he's busy with his counter attack at home. That is getting some good damage done. Those charge lots are going to have plus two as well soon, which will really help out. We see the Protoss is moving forward once again. Uh, I mean, his army isn't that good, though. The Immortals are good, the Colossus is good, and the counter damage on special side of the map is good, as the production for special just wasn't there to get the damage done. In fact, this has been a very odd uh, order of play for special. Uh, just the fact that he went for the third before the extra rack, and uh, it's, it really hurt him based on the fact that his production is just uh, just getting going now. We see a Disruptor on the way for Haas, just trying to hold on. Haas lost his new attempt at a base. So really, it's kind of still two base versus two base. Uh, special down to 23 SDVs, but he did invest in that third CC. Uh, Haas is going for another big counter attack with Zealots, and oh, load, is it a lot of Zealots. Uh, probably enough to break the natural as special just decides to go home realizing how big of a threat that is the zealots are gonna hit the natural Haas might want to recall these as a matter of fact uh, in fact I most definitely think he does he wants to try and get these away the bio is looking for a surround on them though there's the recall looks like a good chunk of the zealots do escape and now we're in a very odd situation here which both players have big armies low economies I'm not sure where to go from this all I know is I love the fact that Haas is spending his resources on disruptors they are so good in situations like this and i really like the fact that he's being out on the he's out on the map at this point if protoss just sits back at home tries to get up a third then special can just push out with his trillion siege tanks aka sick but that's a lot when you don't have uh have a lot of reinforcing capability so i'm actually quite fond of the position for haas if he can get even one engagement for special as special tries to cross the map we see we see the Observer giving vision that Haas needs so desperately. That's quite important. We see Special taking the threat of a counterattack oh so seriously, making sure he rewalls at his natural base. A big drop going to be going off for the Protoss, for the Terran player, getting into the base of the Protoss. Haas doesn't have any units in position to deal with this. Marauders do give it away and start shooting at this base. Uh, hit the warp gate for starters. Special going to try and unpower a couple of those gates. Haas wants to warp in Zealots to defend this, but... I mean, uh, they really can't, as uh, he's so broke. Looks like we see Haas out with Disruptors looking for a good engagement. Force Field Disruptor combo is beautiful. Does lose uh, his Warp Prism amidst that, which is quite unfortunate. But still, great play by Haas there. That was just instant Force Fields. Well done, keeping that Disruptor alive. Rather important. We even saw the Protoss research Psystorm. However, Special's been on it and getting Ghosts. I love that choice. Low economy. Uh, but even one or two of those Ghosts gives you the potential for a big engagement. Uh, good EMPs could really help him out. We now see Haas out on the map with his High Templar. He turns around. He wants to Psystorm. Turns him into an Archon. Hits actually most of that bio. So actually gets a pretty solid trade there. One thing I'm regretting for Haas right now is the fact that he doesn't have Blink. Can't pursue those medivacs at all, really. The Terran player is going for another drop into the main base of Haas. Haas trying to get up an armor upgrade. Special going to target it down. Only loses really one Marauder in the process. Shuts down the armor. Haas immediately throws up two new forges. I think that's quite bold, thinking he's going to be able to afford more upgrades here. So I think that might be a split decision mistake there by Haas. As uh, I don't know if I see this game going on that much longer, if we're being honest. Like... The Protoss is on three bases. If Haas had a fourth up, which he actually starts, which I think is nuts in this position to make that call, uh, to be like, yeah, fourth base, double forge. That seems even greedy at this point. Honestly, what I'd love to see from Haas at this point is I'm not sure. Maybe he is right to go for the double forge as, I mean, he can't doesn't want to go for tons of High Templar, doesn't want to go for Colossus because Special's got counters to all those. So yeah, I don't know. Maybe just try and 
get out a few more Archons and Immortals or something. And yeah, I guess the... You know what? Ignore me. I see why Haas went for the Double Forge right now, even though it does feel he's a little boxed in, as uh, Special does still have such a lethal force that's going to be hard to tango with. Uh, Haas does need to greet this army out in the open, and it needs to be all of his army uh, in order to deal with this. Probably wants another Disruptor or two, as uh, they don't care about getting EMP'd. We see the Warp Prism. Oh, I don't know if there's High Templar in there, but if there was, they're now dead. Oh, that's a disaster. That is an absolute disaster there for Haas, losing that Prism. If there was High Templar in there, that is just heartbreaking. Uh, that really takes the window to the sails. He's going to need to go for a big counterattack, and that's exactly what he's doing. I, I say that after he's already gone for it. Um, because Haas is going to have a hard time engaging this army. I love the High Templar. Moving forward, they feed back the Ghosts, actually. Not trying to go for a size Storm. Maybe they could have got a good one there. But either way, interesting call by Haas. Trying to get another High Templar out, but especially even snipe the down for good measure. Make sure that thing stays dead. We do see the base of Haas just starting to fall, though, as Special moves on in. He's got such a lethal army. The Protoss Force, I just don't think it's going to be good enough to deal with this army, particularly as he's bleeding off units, pushing up this ramp. There needs to be Novas tossed up that ramp. There they go. A little bit late, but they are going to help break this location. Haas has bled off a lot of units during this, though, and he needs to keep every unit he can alive, but he has cracked Special's base, too, which is really turning this into a full-on base trade. The Protoss player is firing up probes, interestingly enough, just trying to, I guess, keep some semblance of an economy going in this location. We even see four High Templar were warped in here for Haas at the top side location. I love this High Templar. Oh, so efficient. Haas is now moving down with these Templars. Is he going to storm those SCVs? Don't do it, Haas. That's a waste of energy. Uh, these Templars are actually moving by themselves, which makes me quite nervous. If Special can potentially pick him off, and he's got Ghost loaded up into Medivacs for Templar. Versus a medivac of four ghosts. I think that's pretty darn good for the ghosts. There's the army for Haas trying to zone out this force. The special really wants to land an EMP on those Templars. He's actually just found this base, though. Uh, I'm not sure what play he's going to go for. All I know is that special has got the siege tanks. They can siege up. They can really zone out this army. Haas tries to land a size storm. He does land a bit of one. No units go down, though. And both players are just in such an odd spot. I don't mind Haas's position, though. I think the longer this goes on, his investment into that fourth base is going to pay off more and more, as long as he doesn't get hit by EMPs by these ghosts, which could be catastrophic. There's the EMPs. They hit pretty much everything. There's one High Templar left. Lands a pretty decent size storm. Where's the Novas? Novas are everything here as the final fight happens, but Special picks off the Disruptors before the Novas land, and what I think could have been a fight for Haas is not going to be it. Uh, yeah, oh my gosh, what a split-second change there. Haas also had Zealots that were not partaking in the fight. It was even pretty close in the end, but GG gets called. By gosh, we're gonna rewind and look at this. I honestly think that could have been Haas's fight. Uh, he landed a big Nova there, which I missed. I think I missed a fair few things this game, but that aside, if we look at this, I mean, the Templar are there. Uh, Haas gets EMP'd from behind by Special, which is... Yeah, not great. He does manage to section off one of the High Templar here, so you see that. Look at that. He's literally like, oh, try and save the Templar. Saves one. And that made this a lot closer than it could have been, uh, as that Thice Storm does land. But here's, here's, the, here's the thing. That Disruptor just a little bit too far forward. Same with this one. Special moves in. He actually targets down the one that fired first. I think cancels the Nova there. And then, yeah, it's just too much. The EMP army of the Protoss can't stand against against this, this Terran force. If they weren't EMP'd, maybe Haas could have made it happen, but that was a beautiful engagement by Special. These five Zealots also could have maybe been a game changer. Who knows? Either way, what a beautiful TVP by these guys. GG. Ladies and gentlemen, if you enjoyed this match, make sure to go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, join the Discord, which is linked down below. I'll see you guys next time. I know it, I know it was a bit of a rougher cast for this one. But uh, as I try and try and stay in the groove of casting, it's hard uh, hard when it's a little bit intermittent like this. But still had a great time. What a great game! Thanks for watching.